crazy if this didn't work out. <laughs> my lip gloss it's been a while since i did it i will say though as you saw by the title of this video i really did mean that like wearing this scarf i feel like has been the key to my hair growth welcome back you guys i thought i would come through with the hair video because it's been so long and my hair videos are some of the most popular on my channel so i was like i probably should give the people an update so i really do wear my hair in this scarf kind of well exactly not kind of exactly how you just saw it at the beginning like every day and part of the reason is that i would say it started off with this being the reason why most of you guys probably know if you've been watching which you should be you should obviously be subscribed because duh. if you've been watching then you know that i nanny and when i nanny you know what i'm saying that's kind of a job that i want to wear stuff that i can get dirty i don't want to be too dressed up with um and i mean i could you know most of the time i wear sweatpants but i could you know put on a nice outfit like jeans and stuff like that usually I wear sweatpants and a scarf like my scarf which is this is the scarf that I wear to sleep by the way so I just don't do my hair in the morning this isn't something special that I put on in the mornings I wear this to sleep during the day to work when I come home <laughs> so basically I just don't do my hair in the mornings one thing I didn't do was like an actual length check I feel like we should you know my shirt is wrinkled I'm sorry y'all but let's do it Bam. That is in some the reason why I wear my scarf every day. It's basically to save time. Because I don't work a job that like requires me to do my hair every day, like, you know, working in an office or something or anything really where I have to be presentable because again, I work with children. So it's kind of even no point, it, you know, some might say. Because kids are kids, you know, they're probably gonna get dirty at some point. I mean, you know, there's no reason to get cute. But doing this has led me to realizing something that I kind of already knew, which is realizing how impactful it is to um not do your hair i don't get me wrong i'm gonna explain obviously but i don't mean to neglect your hair um or to go out looking crazy but what i mean by wearing this scarf through my hair every day is that um just not messing with my hair being low maintenance which again also like you know most of you guys know isn't like a revolutionary concept um but really just letting my hair do its thing i keep it clean i still do like my wash day routine i finger detangle condition do all that good healthy stuff but then i braid it up usually um and sometimes i leave it like that if i don't have anywhere to go for like a week or longer and all that time it's just in this scarf in braids you know i obviously moisturize it after i wash it um usually i don't need to add extra moisturizer throughout the week but i will if i need to if i do have an event i'll unbraid it and then i wear my hair in a braid out that's my usual like go to <laughs> by the way guys there's a glare like from the stained glass windows up there you see it i'm sorry if that is getting in the way but my camera is fine i promise i guess can't emphasize enough that i think more than a lot of other things that people stress nowadays you know like even more than products because when you really think about it one thing that i feel like we all kind of realize but don't really lean into is that as far as like products go you don't need that much and i know that there's different hair types i know that especially like i think about people with like low porosity hair um who need to do a little bit more to get their hair you know to get moisture to really soak into their hair things like that but for most of us you don't need like 50,000 products you know and not only do you not need them um, a lot of times they aren't the key to your hair growth I think um, and this is obviously just my personal you know experience opinion whatever um, but when I look at me when I look at other people as well especially growing up even looking at youtubers I feel like the biggest thing you could do for your hair is to not damage it in other words do low maintenance styles don't put heat to it every day don't you know be rough when you're detangling like all of those things I feel like are really the things that put stress on your hair and there's even like levels to low maintenance styles like some people started talking about recently I feel like um, in the natural hair community you know traditionally box braids and all those other kind of like um styles they were traditionally hailed as like the og low maintenance hairstyle but also those can also be damaging depending on if you have a sensitive scalp depending on the chemicals and the re and your reaction to it depending on the tension that is being put on your hair and the edges when you wear your box braids and even depending on just the i feel like the uh how would i say the overall strength of your hair like honestly i don't do for example i don't do box braids very well um because they i feel like tend to like dry my hair out my hair they kind of just like 
I think my hair is more on the fragile side. <laughs> so they oftentimes don't hold up very well for one, like they get frizzy very fast and stuff. Two, I feel like they might contribute to like the dryness of my hair and even breaking my hair off a little bit because the strands tend to be more rough um, than my natural hair strands. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I feel like being low maintenance with my hair and trying to be as gentle as possible on a regular basis, again, like throughout your hair routine when you're detangling and such, I feel like that is the biggest thing that contributes to any hair growth that I have. And so as it regards to this, this is also what has allowed me to do that while I feel like looking kind of somewhat presentable, right? And not walking around with dookie braids in my head, but then B, just I think having your hair protected in a general sense like covered um, is also good. For protecting it from the elements and definitely also, of course, as most people know, scarves protect your hair from friction. So a lot of us do that while we sleep, you know, wear scarves and bonnets, but I do that during the day as well. And I always feel like my hair is just safe and sound wrapped up in this nice satiny soft protective just goodness pillow <laughs> and it also just contributes i think to right like keeping your hair manageable when your hair is healthy it helps with all of those things so instead of i think focusing on um doing it throughout the week i just i have the privilege honestly because again of the job that i work of being able to just let it sit in braids not be messed with not worry about styling you know and all that kind of stuff that adds stress and tension to your hair most times and just let it do its thing just let it be you know if you're curious i can show you guys like what it looked like before and just like a general pan of you know this is my hair length in the back Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see. But so what I do is I take, you know, little scrunchy, little basic black scrunchy. And I basically do like one big old bantu knot. So um, when my hair is like this, actually, of course, like I said, usually I wear it in braids, but when my hair is down, I still kind of do the same routine, wrap it up in something kind of that keeps it together so that my strands don't have as much of the opportunity to tangle. I take it, sometimes I do two, split it in half and do two bantu knots. But most times I do one because I'm lazy. Do do do. Make sure I got all the strands and I stretch them as much as possible. And then I do a band tune up. And then I take the end, make sure I hold that down and secure it with my band. And that's how I wear it under my scarf, like it was just now when I took it down on video. I just took the band off and I shake it out. Shake, 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 boom, 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 boom. Shake, shake, shake. Whenever this starts to get like wonky and crazy, like tangled and dirty and stuff. That's when I just do my wash routine over again. I often have people ask me like on the few videos, like the hair videos that I did that did really well, just like how I keep my hair healthy still and stuff like that or what products that I recommend. And I'm just like, if you're watching this, <laughs> there's nothing else that I could recommend for healthy hair. It is to be kind and gentle to your hair. I mean, when you think about it, like just take you know, look at and feel some of your hair strands, just in a general sense, even those with like thick, strong hair. Hair is very fragile, you know what I'm saying? So you just, it's something that you should be gentle with. I think most of us are used to kind of just like harsh detangling methods um, and stuff like that, but you don't have to do that. And I just want to say this as a disclaimer because I know that it is a thing um, and that some people might be thinking this, but even, I mean this like in a general sense, um, like the tips that I'm giving, even though I don't have four C hair, the coarsest of hair textures. Um, I also have gotten a lot of these tips from people with four C hair, and so I do believe that they work with for those with kinky hair as well. This isn't my natural hair texture either, though. If you peep, I said I wear my hair in a braid out. My natural hair texture is actually tighter, tighter than this. But all of that aside, yeah, you guys, I feel like there's nothing better that you can do for your hair. Try, you know, even if you do have to like do your hair every day, look presentable, um, go to the office, try to just be, do, do low maintenance hairstyles, be gentle when you're styling and all that good stuff. And of course, do all the regular stuff too, condition, you know. But yeah, you guys, that's my update. That's my kind of like updated key hair tip. Get you a good scarf, get you, find you some cute low maintenance styles and boom do your thing all i'm saying is if you've not subscribed you need to go ahead and do that next video is coming saturday i will see you guys in my next one